Hey guys, today is day 75 of taking Rick Simpson oil or RSO or FECO, so full extract cannabis oil. And wow, I'm kind of, I'm getting into the flow of it. I'm getting in the rhythm. It's been 75 days. I am at the full one gram a day dose, which is really exciting to be feeling like, okay, I'm, I'm taking the full dose. I'm doing it. All of the healing is going to happen and is happening. So for anybody just tuning in to these videos, I have a really rare form of Crohn's disease that attacks my GI tract and causes a lot of bleeding and open wounds throughout my entire GI tract, as well as tumors in my bones, in my spine and in my femur that are crazy, crazy painful. And so I've been doing this protocol to work to heal them. So where are we at right now? I wanted to give you a couple updates of some changes and what's going on. Yesterday was the first day I was able to add in some CBD only. So I've been taking uh, the concentrate made out of Gorilla Glue. So it's homegrown, Sam and I made it. And now I've been able to have some access to some concentrated oil that's CBD only from LeBeau and Joe's CBD, which is amazing. They're two rad guys out of Massachusetts that are making this beautiful farm to table, farm to table, farm to, <laughs> it's kind of farm to table, <laughs> depending on how you ingest it, <laughs> but beautiful extract. And so I'm adding that in and I did um, one tenth of a gram orally yesterday. And in addition to the the full Gorilla Glue THC suppositories with RSO that I've been making. Um, and today was really exciting actually, cause I woke up in the morning and I felt a little less like <laughs> hungover and wiped out and had a little less brain fog this morning waking up. And that was just with a one tenth of a gram orally added in last night. So I'm really excited and really hopeful about adding that CBD in to um, hopefully balance out some of the brain fog and the other side effects of it, um, as well as for all of the other amazing properties that CBD can bring to the experience. Um, and I'll go into that a little bit more detail in some other videos, but there's some research and some ac accounts being done of what's the best strains to help heal whatever you're taking the cannabis concentrates for. Um, and CBD has been shown to help a lot with breast cancer and especially estrogen induced <clears throat> uh, problems or illnesses, diseases, whatever you want to call them. Um, another thing that has been interesting is my hormones have always been really regular. Or at least my menstrual cycle has been really regular ever since I got my first period when I was 10 actually. So every like 28 or 29 days, I'm usually pretty exact. But since I've been starting on the RSO protocol, my cycles have been a whole lot shorter. So right around 25 days um, and a lot more period cramps and symptoms and really, really, really hormonal and emotional and like all the tears, the waterworks factory is like super on. Um, like the couple days before um, and during my period. So that's been interesting. And I'm so I'm interested about like the correlation between the cannabis and the hormones in my body since the, your hormones affect your menstrual cycle. So all of that being said, 75 days. It's exciting. I can't believe I made it this far. 26 days left for me to get the full 60 grams of RSO. Um, within 90 days. And so that I'm still counting only for the concentrated THC um, RSO. And so I'll have some additional grams of the CBD on top of it. All right. I hope everybody has a beautiful day and thanks for checking in with me.